Hello, beautiful people, and welcome. If you are new to this channel, my name is Brie. I make beauty, health, and adventure videos every week. And today, we're gonna get personal. We're gonna get close. You're gonna get to know my DNA. Bye. 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 I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my experience using Ancestry DNA and of course give you the results that kind of rock my world a little bit because there are some things I did not expect all my life. Yeah, Yannick, my husband, was gonna join us a little bit later in this video to share with you guys his results because his results were really shocking and I have to share them with you. The single most popular question that I ever get across the board ever since I could remember is what is your ethnicity? What are you? What are you mixed with? I am biracial. That is what I tell people, biracial or casually I'm mixed. And they say, oh, well, what are you mixed with? And I say, my mom is black, my dad is white. But for some reason, most people are not satisfied with that answer. They're like, no, 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 but like really, what are you? And I'm like, now I've gotta pull out the whole list because it's a long list. I am a lot of things. Growing up, my specific ethnicities were never taboo for me because fortunately on my dad's side, we had pretty good family history record. Like we, we knew what we were. Um, I actually had the privilege of growing up with my great grandparents. And in fact, I have a great grandmother who is still alive to this day. Hi, Oma, I love you. I remember my mother teaching me when I was very young what my ethnicities are and helping me memorize what they are because it was such a question that I would get all the time. So what I was told growing up was that I was African-American, Native American, German, Irish, Italian, and Norwegian. It's interesting because my maiden name was Norwegian, full Norwegian, so that was cool. And then I knew of my Italian great-grandmother and then my German great-grandmother. A few years back, I got on Ancestry.com and I was doing lots of family history research. Ancestry.com allows you to really get into your family lineage by using names and date of births and kind of just like tracking. It's like a game almost. And you're just like, you get to find your family members. I've been able to discover some crazy things that I find extremely interesting. I'm a sentimentalist and I enjoy doing that kind of stuff. The site is just so fascinating, it's so fun, and it's incredibly addicting, so I'm warning you. There is a subscription, but that money goes to funding the research that goes along with it. It's a ton of research, so I'm all for it. It's worth it to me. I am not sponsored by Ancestry.com. I'm just sharing with you something that I find really cool. When I found out that they had the DNA research stuff, I was like, I gotta get on this because they work in tandem with your family history research. It helps your research to be more accurate when you have your DNA there too. So I was like, yes. I wanted to continue my journey and expanding my family tree. It is so fun. If you guys know what I'm talking about, please comment below. Before we continue, I do have to mention one thing because I know it's gonna be disputed in the comment section. I've already gotten several messages on Instagram about the security of sending your DNA to these companies. People are weary about it and it makes total sense. But this is my whole opinion on all of it. And this is like my reasoning, I guess, because some people are like, why would you choose to do this? Why would you do that? Honestly. The powers that be have the technology to track everything about your life. What we watch, where we eat, where we go to work, where we live, our schedules, when we like to go to sleep, this, that, and the other. They even have the technology to predict what kind of choices that we will make as to what we will buy, what kind of personality we have. Like legit, we have that technology available. If you've seen the terms and conditions on Instagram or on Facebook, you've been able to see that things are quite scary. So before you get all weirded out about sending your DNA, just think about that. That information to me is so much more dangerous than me sending my DNA. But that's just me. That is just me, that's how I feel about it all. Jumping into the process. We started this process back in December of 2019 where we received our DNA kits. And in these DNA kits, it's like a little tube where you spit in, you have to spit quite a lot in order for them to, I guess, get a good sample. So you spit in this little valve and then you send it in a package, you register online, with Ancestry.com, you put in all your information and they also ask you a series of different questions. They make you sign waivers um, as to what you're comfortable with allowing for your DNA. Like, if, are you comfortable with them experimenting it on this or that or this? Like, it's very specific and I thought that that was really cool. They received our DNA results on January 8th and it's now March 8th, 9th. 
So a little bit of time, but honestly, forget about it. We paid about $60 for it. Don't ever pay full price because they're always doing sales. I think they're doing a sale right now for St. Patrick's Day. So I will link that below, of course, for you guys to check out if you're interested in doing it. And it all is online. They email you. They even email you all the updates, which I thought was really cool. If you follow me on Instagram, you've been seeing me post, you know, the progress of, you know, what they're doing. They're analyzing my DNA. They're extracting the DNA, whatever. They give you text messages and emails to keep you updated on the status of your DNA. And then as soon as it's ready, You've got it. Finally, the results. What you came here for. Here we go. Let's dive in. This is my ethnicity estimate. What makes up me? Yay. <laughs> Starting at the most, 25% of me is from England, Northwestern Europe. That was not surprising. I kind of figured that definitely, yes. 20% from Nigeria. That was surprising because, you know, I knew obviously I'm African American, but I don't know like where in Africa I'm from. So to have it like narrowed down like that, 20% of me is from Nigeria. Another 20% of me is from Scotland. James McAvoy say what? Draw Butler? Juan McGregor? Scottish? How do you do the accent? From Scotland? What? What? That was shocking to me because I don't know where that's come from and why my DNA picked up that much of it. So 6% of me is from Ivory Coast and Ghana. Northern Italy is 5%. Benin and Togo, I think I said that right, 3%. Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples, 3%. I have French, 3%. Okay, did not expect that. Southern Italy, so there's another 3% for Italian, which yes, I should be Italian. European Jewish, that is surprising. I have 2% European Jewish in me, which is wild. It's not a large percentage, but it's still pulling it, and that is crazy. I actually have quite an interesting story when it comes to being European Jewish. I immediately called my grandmother and my great-grandmother, Oma, and my Oma is from Germany, she used to live in Germany when she was younger and growing up, she never knew who her father was. It was always like a taboo thing for her. She had an idea, but didn't quite know for sure. The reason for that being, and now with these results, is most likely he was Jewish and she was growing up in the time during the World War and being Jewish was not a good thing. Probably saved her life, the fact that she didn't know about her father. So I think that that's wild, that's so cool. I have 2% of me from Mali, Africa. And then I have 2% German, which I thought I would have more than that, but I only have 2%. Norwegian, only 2%. Wales, 1%. Portugal, I'm 1% I'm Portuguese. That's cool. Senegal, Africa, 1%. And then there's Ireland, 1%. I thought for sure that I would have more Irish, but there you have it. Ancestry DNA also gives you additional communities where it can pinpoint where your early settlers are from. My early settlers are actually from North Carolina, which is where I live currently, which is crazy and probably why I don't like this place because those early ancestors from North Carolina were African Americans, so they most definitely were slaves here in North Carolina. And then the other half of my family is from early Connecticut and New York, which of course makes total sense. So those are my ethnicities. So stinking cool. I'm gonna share with you guys a map so you guys can see if you're interested, the map of my ethnicities. If other people in your family line have done the DNA tests, you'll be able to connect with them, of course. And I've been able to see my connections with like my sixth cousin. I've been able to see connections that share the same DNA as me. It's like my fourth, my third, my sixth, my eighth, my 10th cousin. Like, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> Here's our guest star, Yannick's making his cameo today. Hello. Um, he's gonna share with us his results. 32% England and Northwestern Europe, 19% Spain, 19% Scotland. We're the same. A Scottish. 8% uh, Indigenous American, uh, Andes. 4% Indigenous Americas, Yucatan Peninsula. 3% Ireland. You're more Irish than I am. Yeah, how much were you? 1%. Oh, nice. <laughs> 3% uh, Indigenous Americas, Colombia and Venezuela. 2% Southern Italy. So we got a little bit of Italian, Italian there. 2% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples. 
1% Benin and Togo. That's, I got that too. Nice. And Senegal. Yeah, 1% Senegal. 1% uh, Indigenous Eastern South American. 1% uh, Northern Africa. 1% Nigeria. So, yeah, you got that Nigeria Yeah, you got that 1%. 1% Wales. 1% Middle East. And 1% Kozian Aka and Mbutu people. Wow. So, yeah, so there you go. I, his I did not expect. I did not expect yours to be that diverse. You're you're everywhere. Yeah, I didn't expect he that has either. more of Africa than I do. Strange. Like not the percentage, but more diversity. More, more diverse. African diversity. Yeah. He's more African diverse than I am. Yeah, it was really surprising. I, I had kind of an idea. I mean, I knew that I would get Spain and a lot of Indigenous America. Um. Because your mom's from Peru. Yeah, I knew that I would have Africa. The Middle East surprised me. I didn't think I had I, any Middle I, East. I thought you were Middle East the first day that yeah. I met you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were Middle Eastern, I should say. Yeah, I, I think it's interesting that none of us have any Asian at all. Yeah, no Asian. So, so yeah. our babies have to marry an Asian person. That's right. Person. We, we gotta make it happen. We'll, we'll try it for science. Yeah, we'll try it for It'll science. be a long-term project. Long-term. Yeah. <laughs> so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will leave all the information down below if you guys want to figure out your DNA results. If you have done the DNA testing and you have your results and you don't mind sharing them, leave them in the comment section below. I am super fascinated at finding out other people's percentages, the mixes, like we're all mutts and you may not realize that you're a mutt, but you're a mutt. Thanks again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.